Thank you, Mayor. Um, the national emergency has created an unprecedented response to curtail the spread of the coronavirus outbreak. I wanted to provide the, a little detail on the action that the city is taking to address any concerns our citizens may have. First, our focus is on continued service. No matter what happens in the coming weeks, we will continue to provide public safety, water services, solid waste services, and other essential services that we depend on on a daily basis. We are anticipating worst case scenarios and will have plans for continued operations should we experience workforce issues. We have taken measures to address direction from national and state health authorities when it comes to social distancing through May 1st. We have canceled all events and gatherings of people sponsored by the city. We have canceled all classes and programs at libraries, recreation centers, and the art center. We have discouraged neighborhood and crime watch meetings, and I can proudly say that all of the neighborhoods have, uh, are working with us. We've also closed our recreation centers with the exception of our after school program. This program will resume when MISD resumes classes. We've also closed our senior programs and canceled programs, including our meal program. We are working with our meal provider to make sure we have food handed out to seniors who desperately need these meals. And also our municipal court will cancel all dockets and jury trials until uh, May 8th. We anticipate this uh, will uh, uh, be difficult for some, but uh, we will still maintain our uh, counters for residents to address tickets and citations. We are also evaluating our public meetings, and if a board or commission doesn't need to meet or and have uh, specific action, we will be postponing those meetings. Tonight, an item on the agenda supports the Dallas County Declaration of an Emergency and any orders of Dallas County. The county has requested cities work together to support the efforts to limit the community, community spread of the coronavirus. At this time, there are a small number of cases in Dallas County, and we hope that the efforts that we are taking as a community in the next few weeks will be beneficial. We will look to the county to provide guidance on this issue, and we are working with them on a regular basis. As with any emergency, we are making adjustments to our plans on a daily basis. There is a lot of information coming through from federal, state, and county officials. We will do our best to maintain accurate information on the city's website, and I would encourage all residents to verify any information on this site or other official sites uh, before posting on social media. We appreciate the cooperation and understanding we have received from our citizens, and I thank the council for their support for our continued efforts. And before I share some remarks, I'll just uh, add to what the city manager has said. Um, just the other evening, myself and the city manager were on a conference call with the county judge, and I'd say at least a couple dozen, if not more, uh, mayors all throughout the county. And uh, it, it was uh, sobering and yet very encouraging that uh, there was tremendous unity. Uh, everyone's going through the same thing. Everyone has the same concerns. And, and I think every mayor that was on that, that call uh, all agreed to, to support uh, the county's leadership on this as we all move forward. But to all the people of Mesquite, and I really want to speak on behalf of the council. Over the past week, it's certainly been challenging and a very historic time for all of us. We as a council want you to know that we, along with our city manager and his team, have been working very closely with our federal, state, and county partners to make sure that we have the most up-to-date information so we can make the very best decisions in protecting all of you, the people of Mesquite. And I want to be very clear when I say that we are going to do whatever it takes to protect our citizens' safety and welfare and health. I would like to thank our city staff leadership team for their efforts in this emergency and all of our city employees out there making it happen every day, even on these tougher days. From the guys out there uh, on the streets filling potholes to the administrative workers at City Hall to our first responders putting their lives on the line in a difficult time for all of us and everybody in between. This council is very proud of every single city employee. Council, I think you all agree with me on that. This government will continue to function and to be effective for our citizens. I want to be very clear about that. We need to be very mindful of our local businesses as we know they are struggling right now and will probably struggle more in the coming days as we work through this temporary challenge. And when we defeat this virus, and we will, 
And with God's help, I want to encourage all of us to shop local as we never have before. I want to encourage all our citizens to be responsible over the coming days and not give in to fear or panic while also adhering to what health authorities are asking us to do to avoid spreading the virus. Lastly, we are deeply encouraged by the acts of kindness all throughout our community as we face down and seek to defeat coronavirus. The compassion and mercy we see all over town is a tremendous testament to the goodness of our people here in Mesquite. I believe that we will be even stronger once we've overcome this challenge. I have never been more proud to live in Mesquite as I am today. I think I speak for all of us, Council, when I say that. And I just lastly would ask all of you to keep our city and our nation lifted up in prayer because that is always our greatest hope.